Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the while loop instruction in the structure text programming for the PPLC. So it's a while loop is similar to the for loop with the difference that uh, with the while loop you don't know the number of times that you are going to execute the content inside included inside the while loop. Uh, however, for the for we already know the number. So this is the way that you can use the while loop. Uh, the format is starting with while, then the boolean expression, whether it would be true or false. Until the boolean expression is true here, then you need to write down do, which is a keyword, and then the instructions in between do and end while will be executed until the, the boolean expression here is true. As soon as it becomes false, the execution of the program will go outside of the while loop. So this expression should be something which you uh, you determine, of course, what what to put over there. But it should become at some point uh, false uh, as well, because otherwise you will be inside the while loop forever. Uh, I have prepared the program here, a kind of simple program, in which uh, I've it declared two boolean variables, reset and start, two undelay timers, t um, timer 0, 1 and timer 0, 2, and one integer value which is time out. And initially I have set it to 10. Then here in the program, I have created a while loop. So this is my while loop while time out is bigger than 0, do these instructions and then end while. So the, the aim here is that as far as the timeout is bigger than zero, inside the loop, I will subtract one from the timeout. But when I do, whenever I do, uh, I need to do it. Uh, okay, let's let's say that it's the. Let me just expand this. So I will subtract one from the timeout whenever. I receive data from these two timers that I'm using here. So again, the combination of these two timers will create me a square wave uh, of the period of one second, let's say. So every one second, I will subtract one from time out until it becomes equal to zero. At that point, I will stop executing the instructions inside the while and I will go out or let's say the execution of the program will go outside of the while. Additionally, what I do here is that whenever the reset button is pressed, whenever the reset is true, which receives data from this reset push button, then the timeout will be set to the initial value, which is 10. So inside the loop, I can change the, I can reset, let's say, the time value. And uh, I have put it here as well. So I'm able to reset the value for the timeout even after the while loop is done. If I don't put this piece of code here, I'll be able to reset the value of the timeout to 10 only during the 10 seconds after pressing the start. And this start will be is it's used here. So in the first timer, the input is start and the not out timer 2.q. So if the value coming from start is true, then the timers will work. If not, timers will stop. And accordingly, the, the value of the timeout will not be reduced, will not be decremented. Uh, so this is the way that you can use the while instruction in the structure text. Let me just uh, log in and run it, so you can see the execution of the program in the runtime. Apparently, there's uh, okay. So I have this program loaded exception. Uh, error. I think I need to go back and fix it beforehand. So there's no pre-compiled error. Yeah, yeah, I think I, I, if you remember, we need to go here. Mm, okay, it takes a bit of time in my computer in the properties of the application. And then in the build, I already have it. It's a bit strange. Uh, let me figure it out. 
the, the reason behind the error and then I will let you all know uh, okay I think I have found what was the problem uh, regarding the compilation and the program music exception uh, handling uh, error that you faced with so here for the font of the of the text box here I had used this uh, WinCC flexible smart well and for whatever reason it it makes the problem so by setting it back to uh, let let's maybe change it to the default to the headline font for example being so and logging in okay so now we don't have the the problem with the program loaded exception error that we had already now if I uh, switch on the start you can see here that the countdown starts and whenever I press the reset it resets to 10 and it, it goes uh, down to the zero if I make the value for the start false then the, the time value here will be kept it will be like four and the next time it will start from the, the last value so this is how uh, you can use the while loop in the structure text programming as you can see here so there's the while do and then the instructions inside the while will be used and since I have used this if uh, the reset to reset the the time out value to 10 both inside the while loop and outside it will work in any case so if I press it it becomes 10 the time out becomes 10 and then since the start is already true then the instructions inside the while loop will be executed. Okay, so I will let you know later about the problem with the font that we had, hopefully. So yeah, that's it for the while loop. Thanks again for for watching the video and let me know if you have any issue with the with programming the while loops or any any kind of issue in terms of the PSC programming. And yeah, share the video if you like it and if you think that it would be useful for someone else to watch as well. Thanks again. Bye for now.